I think when people meet what is characterized as a comedian, they expect them to always be funny and all. <laughs> and they are not. No. Ever. <laughs> Ever. And I'm not always funny. For instance, right now, there's nothing funny going on. And I do feel the pressure all the time. It's a curse. That's why I never leave the house. Welcome to my hell. Next question. Please, please. Please. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Do people always expect you to be funny since you are comedians? I think sometimes people tease hard because they think that you really like to be teased hard. <laughs> so sometimes people come up and go, hey, you know, and really yeah. tease you pretty hard and you're just trying to get a sandwich. Um, but yeah. I think both Will and I would say that we're not necessarily people that are on a lot in our everyday. Right. Like when this yeah. interview's over, we're both gonna just we'll shut just down like, like- You walk like, out of the room and be like, hmm. Our faces will just go like this until the next person comes in. <laughs> but yeah, I, I come across people who are, who are terribly let down. When they meet me. Oh no. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. they're like, what's going on? <laughs> I think it's time for a perfect cheer, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And I'm like, yes, it could be. <laughs> Are you using your overhead space? Can I put my bag up there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's but if happens. they pay yeah. you, you'll do it. No? Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> no. No way. No. Yeah. No. Done. Done. Don't do that. One of the things that I notice sometimes when you say something and you're very funny, you start laughing on the inside and you just like struggle a little bit keeping it in. So I'm, well, I'm not laughing at myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably laughing at, uh, and the only reason I'm making that clarification is because I'm not laughing because I think I'm funny. It's that sometimes when you're doing things, you kind of step out of yourself and you're like, what am I? What what wig am I wearing? What am I doing? Or it's something that someone else wrote, and you just find it to be like really funny. And sometimes you just can't keep it in. So, what do you think is like if you're describing each other as comedians? What makes the other person so good, funny? I think Amy is incredibly quick on her feet. Keep it it's coming. It's like you gotta. Keep you have to coming. be ready to play because she's got stuff Keep it coming. to say and do, and it's funny. And I think Will, for his limitations, yes. can be just which a delight. Are, which are sturdy and, <laughs> and sometimes insurmountable. Will, uh, you know, you go you, when you when you see Will trying, you think, look at that guy trying. <laughs> what? What? Good for him. I laugh sometimes just looking at you. You don't I have know. to do. I, you don't have to do anything. You can just sit there. Because don't you have all these characters in your head fit, already. Be Norwegian? He Why? Because you think I'm funny looking? No. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no. Why don't you I get just out seen of here? you in so Why don't you get out of here? <laughs> I've seen you be Your time's over. Myself. Get out of here. Okay. Let's go. So, since you're a comedian, do you, do you kind of remember the first time you made someone laugh and you thought, hey, this is something that I want to. Yeah, I, I think I said a joke to my grandmother because. There was these, I grew up in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which has Oral Roberts University, and there's these giant praying hands. It's like these giant concrete, it's like a statue of praying hands in front of this building. And my uh, grandmother from Chicago was looking at it very suspiciously. And I said, uh, yeah, at midnight they clap. And she kind of just looked at me once, <laughs> you know? But I was like six, but I remember my parents laughed really hard at that, that I had said that. And I just, oh. But I always wonder, you know, if you wake up in the morning and you're like in a kind of like a down mood or bad mood, and then you have to go up and be funny, that how do you kind of snap into that when you're like not feeling it or you're not in that kind of mindset? I don't know, you just, I think you just do. do. I mean, I think if something is funny to you, it, it is funny, and so therefore you have to find that place when you're trying to come up with something or when you're performing something, and that that can definitely cheer you up for sure for the minute. And then you get back to being mad when you get home. <laughs> do you think about something? Very, I mean, especially when it's live and stuff, you can't really burst out in laughter. Do you no. have like a go-to kind of sad thing? That um, you think about no, life? I mean, if I'm shooting, I do sometimes dig my fingernails <laughs> into my thumb so I don't laugh, and I just think about. Like, I don't know, I just try not to do it because 
once I open that floodgate, I just can't ever, pull. and the, the few times that I've broken on SNL, I'm gone for the whole sketch. Like, I can't get back. <laughs> so do you watch, do you watch it afterwards sometimes? Your own sketches? And no. Your... <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I mean, for the seven years I was on, I didn't watch it. Oh, really? No. I watched some sketches that I wasn't in, um, but even then I, I didn't watch, I didn't watch the show. Because I didn't want to be aware of like what I was doing. And... Are you self-critical? Like... It's not so much about being critical, it's just being aware of like, um, like if I were to look in that camera and see the framing of the shot, I would be very aware of like what I'm doing and my the angle of my face. And if I don't know, if I have no idea, then I can be more in my own body. If that makes sense. I mean, I think there is some comedy that's timeless. I hope, I hope, you know, it's hard. Yeah. Like, it's hard. Like especially on SNL. Like you know, back in the day when I was watching it and growing up, and I loved it, you would. These, you know, you would see Wayne's World, and you would be like, "This is the greatest thing in the world." And then you would have to wait a couple weeks until they did it again. But now, with the internet, yeah. you could do a character; they can watch it whenever they want, so it burns out a lot quicker. Mm. You know, like you, back in the day, they used to do it 20 times a Wayne's World. Now, if you do it a couple times, that's that's it, because you know they they have access to it. So it's it's that that that's to me is something I notice even since I've been on the show. I remember talking to Andy, and he was like, "Yeah, they're putting it on this thing called YouTube." And I was like, what's that? That's never gonna work. Yeah. Like, you know, now it's that that's kind of where people see a lot of SNL. Oh my god, what's yeah. gonna happen? Every comedian that I've ever met in real life is as boring as they can get and are brilliant. But they're they're like on a different level. What are you saying? You're like normal. <laughs> You're like a normal human being. You just kinda talk. It's not like you yeah. think in punchlines. No, it's true. You it's have true. like an, a normal human interaction conversation. No, I'm very quiet, and I think that people are surprised by Everybody how is. how quiet I am. But name one of your friends that's a comedian, that's a known comedian, that's not. I, they're all introverts. Of course. Yes. Because they all think differently. And there's a different, like, I'm not a comedian. But there's a structure to um, doing stand-up. True. Or mm -hmm. not true. <clears throat> yes. That's a, it, and that's what people don't realize. Interesting. It's a very, like, there's math to it. And people just assume that like people like Kate or like an Eddie Murphy or like a Will Ferrell. They just are funny people. They're not. They just know how to structure comedy really well. This is not Stu's first marriage. There was a whore in Las Vegas a couple of years ago who was a... Do, do people always expect you to be funny when they meet yes, you? Yes, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not that way. I'm kind of, I think I'm pretty boring, so yeah. Mm -mm. People would think that you're. People think you're the thing that you played uh, in the Hangover or whatever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I've said it before, but I don't think anybody would go up to the guy that played the Scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz and go, "Oh, you're not really a Scarecrow." You know what I mean? <laughs> so people, it's, they they get confused sometimes. Oh yeah, Rebel. She's like real crazy and funny all the time, and then they meet me and then they find out. Yeah, I can be like super fun, but then I can also like be really serious. Or there's times where I've got to write and. I just got to be quiet and sit sit down and do my work, um, and people um, get a bit thrown by that. Well, Will Ferrell's funny in real life. Okay, so I'm a bad sorry. example. Yeah. Yes, minus <laughs> Will Ferrell. But you know what I mean, like yeah, Steve yeah. Martin. Yeah. Or like, I think comedians are probably just a lot quieter and more reserved than their on-screen personas, and that usually surprises people. I would say most of the time, comedians work very hard at being funny. There's a lot of writing, you know? There's a lot of behind the scenes, like, just nose to the grindstone, sitting at the office and thinking of funny jokes and, and, and just writing, you know, for hours and hours. It's a nine to five job. And people just think that funny people are funny all the time, but a lot of work goes into that. It's hard work being funny, okay? okay. That's, why, uh, that's why comedians never get os Oscars. They think, oh, they're just going out there and having fun. No, they're working really hard, but it doesn't seem like it. So we don't get the respect. Don't get me started. Next question. <laughs> oh, that's it. That was the last question. We have to end on that weird angry note. Hi there, thanks for watching my channel. If you like that video, maybe there's other videos you like here on my channel. So please subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you like. Be happy, be nice to people. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye.